Hello there, many train lovers. My name is Yusuf Edward Fan, and welcome to another episode of Everything You Need to Know About. You want him? Now you have him. Today, I'm going to showcase on Hank the Giant Engine. I hope you all enjoy. Hank is based on a Pennsylvania Railroad K Force class Pacific. Two K Force are preserved: one three six one and three seven five zero and are recognized as the state steam locomotives of Pennsylvania. Hank is most likely based on a 1361 as delivered to the BRR. The streamlined version of this class will serve as inspiration for Gordon's streamlined casing in the Great Race. According to Sif's interview with model maker and designer John Lee, Hank was originally designed to have an older face with a handlebar mustache. However, at Hit Entertainment's request, John made Hank look slightly younger and more jolly. In reality, Hank will be too large for the British loading gauge, however, he has been rescaled to avoid technical issues, although Hank is only partly modified to work on Sodor. Although Hank had a front coupler in the TV series, his wooden railway and taken play model lacks it. His livery represents the colors of the USA flag. The prototype of Hank's taken play model shows his tender backwards. Hank was the first new engine introduced when the show started to use CGI for engine faces and people. Hank's crew was never seen in CGI. His driver and fireman were only seen once and they were in their model form. In Trackmaster, Hank is one of the few engines which do not have moving side rods. Hank had two identical models and had five different face masks, thought only one was ever used on screen. Although Rosie was the first engine in the television series to be based on an American locomotive, Hank was the first to actually be recognized as such. I'm sure he isn't stronger than a Sodor engine. Hank is the first character in the franchise whose basis has never run in the United Kingdom. Hank was supposed to return in the CGI series, however, Mattel said no. Hank's chassis was made from the same tooling as Spencer's, but with different pistons. This could possibly be why Spencer never appeared in the 12 series. The reason for being a K4 instead of a Challenger is probably due to budget costs and size restraints. One of Hank's television series models is currently on display at the Drayton Manor. Hank's whistle sound is Gordon's, but 12 steps lower pitched. Hank along with Colin, Flora and Dennis are the only characters introduced in the hit entertainment model era to not have a capsule play rail toy. Due to Hank's length, he cannot fit in most Trackmaster sets and accessories. Also, Hank's hit toy Trackmaster model has his motor inside his tender. So which character I will do next? Tell me your answer in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video my D-Train and I'll see you next time.